Christine here in New York City, and today's adventure brings us to the New World stages where we've been invited by TheaterWorks USA to check out Dogman the Musical. If you don't already know, we have been huge fans of Dave Pilkey's worldwide best-selling hit series Dogman since we all were kids, and we're so excited to see those stories come to life on the big stage. This hilarious and heartwarming production follows Dogman, who has the head of a dog, the body of a policeman, loves to fight crime, and tries to save the city from Petey, the world's most evil cat, Flippy the cyborg fish, and his army of beastie buildings. We're headed inside to check out the show, and then afterwards we're hanging out to chat with some of the cast from the production. So stick around, you don't want to miss this episode. Come on. Holy dog man, every dog has to stay. This cop's on top, so show him the red flooded dog man. Just look at him go, he's part dog, part man, oh hero. So we just finished watching Dogman the Musical and now we are on stage talking with one of the cast members who, and she played Lil Petey, the nurse lady and officer Millie. Millie. Yeah. Right. Her name is LR and she's so lovely. So we have some questions for you. I'm happy to answer okay. anything. So for fans of the Dogman books, what can they expect when they come to see the Dogman show? The book. We are yep. incredibly true to the original story. I think there are moments where the kids seem to know the source material incredibly mm -hmm. well. And a lot of times they know the songs as well because of the recording, so that's been great. But we are pretty true to the original, I, I would say. That. What, what yeah. do you guys think? I mean, your fans, what did, what did you expect? What did you... I knew from George and Harold starting off, I was like, well, that happens in every Dogman book, so they had to add it. And then with like the buildings coming to life, I remember that in one of the Dogman books. I remember other things like when um, Flippy ate the brain dots and other things from actually from the book. And that like was really cool. Yeah. And we do a good job, I think, as well of giving you the backstory because we're like right. a little bit of Dogman. But then most of the book is A Tale of Two Kitties. So yeah. if you've read Dogman, A Tale of Two Kitties, pretty much yeah. know our show. Yeah. Yeah. So who's the most difficult character to bring to life from the book to the stage? That you played. Oh, oh, I'm torn. I want to say Pe Lil Petey, but honestly, I felt very connected to Lil right. Petey from the jump. It's very easy to identify with kindness and happiness and oh. openness as yeah. things that you want to bring. Yeah. And I find as a performer, I always want to be vulnerable and open. And it's very easy to do that with a character who mm -hmm. wears his heart on his sleeve and is nothing but open, innocent, and true to himself. Uh, I would say Millie has been fun to kind of figure out, kind of making her a fun detective lady, figuring out where she wants to land. So that's been fun. I would say uh, Officer Millie. Officer Millie, just getting that authenticity. Yeah. You know, a cop and get that vibe. <laughs> yeah. What's the most fun about like doing a show like Dog Man? Is it the songs, the characters, or the sets, or the cast? Everything. Like, and I yeah. <laughs> everything no, truly. I get that. The cast is incredible. I've never worked with a more beautiful group of humans who I love with every fiber of my being, like we were talking about yeah. earlier. The love that we have for each other on stage is 100% yeah. real. There's not a bad one in the bunch. Everybody is fabulous. Our swings are incredible. Our sets are great. It's kind of like coming home for us too because we, we know all this and this is what we did the last time we brought it to life. So it's really kind of like a homecoming more than anything. <laughs> it's It's been wonderful. It's a great show to do. Have you read all the Dogman books and do you have a favorite story or character in them? I've read all the Dogman books. It's part of, you know, doing your homework for so a right. week. <laughs> and I, Little Petey's my favorite. I love Little Petey. So Although I do also love the character arc and development of both Petey and Flippy. Petey I especially, agree. when you come yeah. to understand why he is the way he is and some of the things that he had to deal with, you realize mm -hmm. that the books are for kids, but also yeah. they deal with very... They're, they're pretty deep if you look into them. Exactly, it's exactly. Beautiful. They're a little adult, which I kind of like. And it gives you insight into everyone's why. Why are people developed the way that they have? And I think that can give people more insight into themselves and how they can be better or, you know, change or shift or grow. Can I tell you the thing I couldn't get my mind off? What? The ducks. <laughs> <laughs> the ducks? I know. I think I you might be one of like... the first people to notice the ducks. Yeah, we never even get to use the rubber duckies. A few of the fun things we have on stage we don't play with. It's kind yeah. of funny. <laughs> yeah. We heard that there's going to be a Cat Kid Comic Club the musical. Mm -hmm. It's written by Brad and Kevin, who wrote this show as well. I'm not sure if any of us are going to be in it, but yeah, it's going to be happening this summer. So 
your next mm -hmm. favorite series is coming to the stage. Yeah, I hope Yay. you it. I, me, me too, from your mouth to the right ears. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you teach us a couple dance moves from the show? Yes! You want to see some of the robo dance moves? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. So, when the second part, well, you're going to know some of this because there's a little bit of tap in here too. We're going to do a little shuffle off to Buffalo. Step, shuffle, step. Step, shuffle, step. Step, shuffle, step. Then we do a little moonwalk. Whoa. Whoa. Can you get the arms? Oh, he's got the arms. Great. And then I try to do in and out. Yep. You got to keep the arms going though too. Yes. There you go. There you go. Nice. Perfect. And then of course there's the classic Saturday Night Fever disco. Yeah. Woo. Perfect. You guys are ready. I think you could be understudies now too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of it course. Was so nice my pleasure. You. Thank you so much for coming to see the show and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. If you need anything, yeah. send me a message and be a pal. I'm around. Okay, so we are now with Brian, and he played Dog Man. So we have some questions for you. Great. So for fans of the Dog Man books, what can they expect when they come to see this show? They can expect something that hopefully feels like what happens when yep. you open that book. And what I love about the Dog Man books and Dave Pilkey's books are like, I feel like when I open them up, it's like, oh, my imagination just yeah. gets to go wild. And I, <laughs> I hope... I hope that's exactly what happens. That like yeah. when you come, did your imagination go crazy today? Yeah, and also when like I find a Dogman book setting anywhere in our house, I pick up it and start reading it. Okay, you just like can't put it down. Do you have to read it all the way to the end? Uh, yeah, well, I'm... sometimes. But if I had to like stop to like leave, I have to put it down. Yeah. Even though I'm like, wait, hold on, I gotta finish this chapter. Okay. And. So I'm hoping when people come and see the show that what they get is that same feeling of like, I'm opening the book, I don't want it to stop. Oh my gosh, the musical's still going on. It's still going on. I hope it never stops. That's <laughs> what I hope people get from Dogman's oh. musical. Was it difficult to play Dogman or? There are some like super, uh, I'll do it Dave Pilkey style. There's some super challenges in <laughs> doing Dogman. For me, when I do shows, I really like to be able to talk to people. I love dialogue. I love communicating oh, right. like that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I don't get to You're use just words. You're howling. Yeah, and exactly. Exactly. So how do I like create a performance right. that still has like all of the interiority, yeah. everything like happening inside that usually I can be like, hey, here's a line with some subtext mm -hmm. and like some feeling behind it. I can't do that. I just get to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most fun about doing a show like Dog Man? Is it the songs, the characters, the sets, or like the cast? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go first like the cast. I really love this cast. Right. We've been together, uh, this group, for quite some time. Yeah, we did since co before COVID. Since before yeah. COVID, yeah. We, uh, all but four of us in this cast did the original workshop together. Wow. And so we know each other really well. Oh. Um, and I just, like, I love stepping on stage with them. And then honestly, my other favorite part is the reactions of people from the audience. Yeah. Um, it's so like sweet. Like us? Like, yes. how like, woo! Or, you know, there's a sequence that comes right from the books where Petey is talking to Lil Petey and Lil Petey is asking, why? 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 Right? Yeah. And sometimes, like, if the rhythm is really cooking, the audience, like kids in the audience, start saying why along with us. It's, <laughs> it, it's stuff like that that, for me, that's why I love doing a show like right. Dogman. So how did you, like, get the role of Dogman? Uh, so I had to do an initial audition, mm -hmm. and the initial audition was just via tape. Uh, so I had to put in a tape, and the audition said, Whatever you do, just act like a dog. <laughs> Show us your best dog. I was like, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. So I went and I secretly set the camera up in the corner of the room, and my wife was on the couch, she was working, and I'm like, hey, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna be a dog. So I press record on the camera, she doesn't know what's happening, and I just like, she's run over, and I jump on her, and I like start licking her face and barking, and she got so mad at me. I was like, this is gonna be killer. This is gonna be awesome. She was way too mad. I couldn't even use that tape because she was too mad on it. So I was like, okay, how about we do this again? And this time I have your permission to jump on you and lick your face. And she's like, okay. Uh, so then I did that that time. She was very happy to do it when she knew what was going on. And <laughs> voila, now I'm here and I get to do it every night 
for people. <laughs> that is so funny. It's like when when I have to in the show like run up to Chief or yeah. Petey or anyone and like kiss them on their face and do like lots of lips. Uh, I'm like, oh, this is a lot of energy coming at you. This is because I be ready. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna get close, but it's like. I can't imagine this being their face and then just <laughs> like that's a lot. That's a lot coming at you. Wait, do you, don't you just like, uh, and you don't like actually? No, don't actually. Yeah, lick because them then because that that change jams and <laughs> that, that's really bad. Yes. Also, we just got out of COVID, so yes. we gotta be careful. So LR taught us some dance moves. Mm -hmm. So could you teach us like maybe some of like things that Dogman does, like some barks? Sure, absolutely. I can teach you a bark. Uh, and then how about teach you a little bit of how to move like a dog? I feel like everybody knows how to woof like a dog. Can I hear a dog? Woof! Hey, that's great. Woof. Hey, that's really, oh, you know what I liked about that? Like you didn't necessarily just go rough. You know, there was a little bit of like a Like yeah. the actual, like, cause dogs don't actually say rough, rough. and woof. Yeah. yeah. You know? So you've got, it sounds like you've got the doggy noises down. How about a little tail wag? So I want you to imagine that instead of having a tail coming out from the back side, you feel like your spine moving up your back, okay? You feel like every bone up there in your spine. Pretend that instead of a tail coming out that way, that your spine is a tail. Now give me like a full, like, oh yeah. Use that spine as a tail and wag it. Can you do a little dog noise? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and can I tell you how awesome. I move like an animal or a dog? Yeah, show me. It's one of the craziest, weirdest things. I move like an animal. That, I don't have the flexibility to do that. I gotta go like all the way down on my knees. Yeah. The fact that you can do it from like, just like toe, that's brilliant. Jeez. <laughs> I'm crazy. Yeah. Just a little bit. Did Dave Pilkey give you the permission to do that? Yes. yes. Actually, something really interesting is that when they were working on this show, one of the things with my character is they said only the people who speak in the books can sing or speak in the show. So Dogman, because he only makes dog noises in the books, can't sing or can't right. like can't speak once uh. he becomes Dogman. So that was like something specifically Dave wanted to make sure stayed like very pure, very much the same from the books, which I love. I did because like we talked about, like it creates a challenge. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Brian. It was so nice talking to you and I, re I really enjoyed the show. It was amazing. Thank yeah, so thanks. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for howling. Thank you for doing some great dog stuff. And yeah, thank you for being a great audience. Today was so fun, so thank you. Well guys, that's going to do it for today's adventure here at Dogman the Musical. Don't miss this epic musical adventure featuring the hilarity and heart of the beloved characters from Dave Pilkey, the creator of Captain Underpants. Now playing at the New World stages in New York City until April 30th, 2023. Head to TWUSA.org forward slash DMNY to check out showtimes and fetch tickets to the show. Thanks again to Theater Works USA for inviting our family out to the show and a very special thanks to the Dogman cast for chatting with us. Don't forget to pick up the newest book, the 11th in the Dogman series from Scholastic. Dogman 20,000 Fleas Under the Sea when it comes out on March 28th. On the scene from Dogman the Musical in New York City, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Woo -hoo! I think this is so cool. <laughs>